Hi, it's Paul from Kiln Frog. Today is a great day because I have a tap conversion kit that I'm going to be putting on my Gen Ken 38 Deep Kiln, which right now has a great Orton 12 key controller on it, but I'm really excited about upgrading this to the tap controller. So, without further ado, I'm going to go through the instructions and you're just going to see how long it's going to take. First thing, very important, unplug the kiln. Step one, remove these four screws. Well, that was pretty easy. It would have been easier if I had the right size socket drive. Step two, remove the thermocouple leads from the controller. That was easy too. Step three, remove these two wired sockets. Simple. Next step. I'm going to attach the tap wiring harness. That's one. And that's two. Easy again. All right, the next thing I need to do is reattach the thermocouple leads. Thermocouple is going to go into thermocouple one. Now, I'm ready to hook up the wiring harnesses. Ta-da! So now, my new tap controller is on my Gen Ken kiln. Let's plug it in, see if it works. Here we go, the moment of truth. See if I did it right. And there you go. I'll report of my first firing later. Well, next day the firing is finished, so it's time to see how it came out. Ugh. 
Looks good. We're really liking this new tap controller. Y'all have a great one.